Okay, guys. Uh, big mistake. Don't ever uh, upload a video to your computer using, uh, what do they call that? Drop drop something. I don't know. Pick something. I don't know. I used something and, and uh, the whole time I was talking and doing this thick batch, I made a real thick batch. I've, as you see, I've leveled off the top of the head. I put a real nice thick top on it uh, and reinforced the, uh, the sides a little bit. Um, I brought my level out here uh, and a board and I stuck that on top of the board. I had the board sitting there and that's pretty level. And uh, now when I cast the, the, the clay in there, I just flip this upside down, put it inside, and then put the, the silicone master in there. So that's the hard shell that goes over top of the, uh, the uh, silicone. And I'm really sorry that that didn't record, but I made the mistake of uploading a video while I was recording and didn't realize it. So, ah, live and learn, right? All right, so what we're doing here is smoothing this out just a little bit more. Just a feather, as Bob Ross would say, just a feather. That's good. And as that sets up, I'll be able to even smooth it even further with my hands, but I have to let it set enough to where it's starting to dry. You want it to dry up. Yeah, so I thickened up where it needed to be thickened and uh, we have ourselves a really nice uh, hard shell. And probably in the next video, I'll be flipping this thing over and uh, pulling out the master copy of the, uh, I'll be pulling the silicone uh, head out of there. I'll be pulling the, the, the William Shatner life cast and silicone master out of the, out of the uh, mold. So that'll be on the next video. And this time I'll make sure that I'm not uh, uploading a video. Uh, call it a rookie mistake. I don't, uh, I don't do this too often with this uh, video stuff, but this is what I plan on doing anyway going forward. This is how I'm going to do most of my videos when it comes to tutorials. All I did was thicken up. I made a really thick batch of plaster, and I really piled it on top of the, the, on top of the head here, and then I made sure that I had it you know, pretty level. Um, don't have to be perfect but it's just enough to where it'll sit it'll sit nice so and uh, I have enough there if if it's wobbling in any way I can sand away a spot on there I can sand it down to, to bring it down you know to make it nice and flat it's kind of hard to get it flat uh, in wet form because settlement happens so you end up getting it you know you still get spots where it's a little bit you know slouching in one area or the other but this is uh this is what you came for <laughs> no. uh, anyway so once this sets up a couple air bubbles there don't want that Yeah, I can see where it slouched over here a little bit. So I'll probably be sanding right in this area here to, to make sure that it sits level when I'm pouring in the, the um, when I'm pouring in the um, clay. Oh yeah. Let's 
clean the top a little bit. No sense in going crazy, you know, making a huge mess and then having all that cleanup to do. Clean as you go. Clean as you go. Best way to do it. All right, guys, I'll see you when I'm ready to flip this thing over, probably in a couple hours. I definitely want to wait a couple hours before I demold this. And then I'm going to put my clay sculpt on the uh, the rotator. I got I got to give a name for this. I got to come up with a name for this. You know, I'm going to call it the turnabout. I don't know. We're going to call it the turnabout. Yeah, we can call it something like that. I don't know. The custom corpses turnabout. I don't know. Whatever. So that's pretty much it, guys. See you on the next uh, video.